Hello, we are live. Let me make sure. I wonder if I'm getting all this. Where is this halo coming from? Hold on. Hold on, guys. I think I need to fix something really quick. I'll be right back. Anybody on? Hey! Welcome to the live. How's everyone doing? All right, I'm gonna clean my camera because I think it's a little blurry. So let me just see if this will help. Okay, that's a little better. Okay. All right, that's a little better. Wait, come over here. Okay. Okay. How's everybody doing today? Thanks for joining in. Let's say hello. Hey, Toya. How are you? Let me turn it this way. Y'all, I swear one of these days this filming setup is going to be set up. Hello, Miss Crystal. Hey, my Kelsey girl. Hey, Natty Red. How are you? Or Natty Red, not Natty Red. How's everybody doing? So glad to see you all today. How's your Monday today? I'm going to wait a little bit longer, like maybe two or so minutes before I get started. But yes, how was everyone's Monday? So what did I do today? Today I taught for the majority of the morning. So normally if we were physically going into work, I would have my anatomy class, um, my lecture in the morning, and then right after that we have lab. So hey, Crystal. Hey, Candy Duke. So I taught my classes virtually and then kind of just had a chilled afternoon. Nope, Olivia, we haven't gotten started yet. I'm waiting just a couple minutes before I get started. You had a long day? Who said that? Toya said she had a long day. Ready to unwind. Well, I hope that you're able to this evening. I'm good. How are you? Love the new setup lighting. Thank you. Thank you. I really enjoy it too. It's, it's coming along. I want to add a little bit more, but I do like from whence we've come. <laughs> um, so yeah, after my classes, did a little bit of work and then did some homeschooling. Then it was time to cook dinner and now we're here. So that's pretty much been my evening so far. Let's see what else is everybody saying. Are you Latino? No, I'm not. I am African American. Um, I mean, but you know, most of our parents got a little mixture here and there. But both of my parents are black, so I'm black. Um, my dad does look Hispanic. If I posted a picture of him, you'd be like, are you sure? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm black. It's funny, that's like one of the one questions that the first day of class. <laughs> I haven't had that question in a couple years, but I used to get that question almost every day on the first day of class. I would go, you know, I'd go over the syllabus, I'd go over class structure, the subject, all the ins and outs, and then I'd go, are there any other questions before we get started? And I always would get this <laughs> one hand raised that would just be like, what are you? And I'm like, doesn't matter because we're here to learn anatomy or biology. Doesn't matter what I am. And I know why people ask that. They're trying to like figure me out. But, um, right. It's like, 
I'm black. Hey, Britt, how are you? <laughs> I had one person go, that's it? That's all you are? And I'm like, is that not good enough for you? <sighs> yeah. Right. It's like, I'm black. Both my parents are black. I mean, do I need to go down my family lineage for you? No, I don't. <laughs> but yeah, that is what I am. That is what it's going to be today. If you'd like to imagine something else, that will be your thing to do. I used to get biracial. Yeah. Girl, they were disappointed. <laughs> they were disappointed. It was a guy. So I guess he felt like, you know, oh, you're just black. I can't. I can't with people sometimes. Okay. So let's get started because I don't want this to be, <clears throat> excuse me, too long. So I'm going to essentially recreate the look that I had a few videos back. And like I said, a few of you all were like, what did you do to your face? Like, can um, we get a tutorial? So I figured, had some hair on here. I figured it would just be easier to do a live. And then if you had questions while I was doing it, great. If not, still great. So I started off using my Tatcha The Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. And if you've watched any of my videos, this has been the only primer, hey Debbie, that I've been using for, I wanna say three weeks now that I've had it. I got a deluxe sample. It's either been three or four weeks. So this is the one that I've been using and I love it. I did pick it up during this for sale and um, it's sitting right here in front of me. So I'm going to use up this smaller sample size before I open up the larger one. But typically I just put it here and in my T-zone area along my chin and along my forehead. I did do my brows already for the most part so I wouldn't have to waste time with that. I've never show my brows because I just feel like nobody wants to see that. <laughs> like nobody wants to see it unless it's a dedicated video for brows. But, um, yeah, you've been beautifully done. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I've been trying. I, I, I love me a good glow. Okay, so then I went in with one of my favorite products of the year. So this is an indie brand that if you don't know about them, you need to know about them. It's Range Beauty, and I have their True Intentions. Um, oh, thank you. That's what I aim for. I like natural-looking brows. I don't like, like, stark heavy or like overly defined brows um because I, I just feel like it looks i don't know maybe because i don't do them well so they don't look right um are we getting a sephora haul or not yes yes but we got to get all these orders in first <laughs> i got a couple more orders coming so when i get all my orders in you will be getting a haul but um <clears throat> the range beauty true intentions bronzing primer range beauty y'all is my favorite discovery of the year. They're an indie brand, they are black owned. And so the owner of the brand, she started the brand because she was in the fashion industry. And I'm not really sure what she did, but I know that she didn't, um, she's not a makeup artist or anything like that. But she was like, time and time again, I would show up to these photo shoots and the models, oh, Brittany, girl, you sent me my first super chat. Thank you, Brittany. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, how did you like it, Britt? Not that I know, Toya. I, I know, girl, Crystal. You making me feel real good about myself. I'm not at four orders yet. I'm not at four orders yet. Why'd you do more than one order? Um, because I call myself like, yay! I'm glad you like it. So I call myself doing multiple orders because I was trying to to have like self-control and only do one order and then i was like there's other stuff i want so yeah that's why <laughs> um so okay yeah so the owner of range beauty she said time and time again she would show up to show up to a photo shoot and the dark skin ladies sometimes wouldn't be able to have a full face of makeup done because the makeup artist wouldn't have shades deep enough for them. Also, she has eczema and she was like, you know, a lot of the mainstream foundations, primers and things like that. Hello. Um, they would break her out. 
I'm not getting anything from the sale. The only thing I really remotely wanted was out of sight. Oh, yay, Venice. You got to tell me your thoughts. I hope you like them. Hey, Ursula. Thanks for joining. So she created her own brand. She started out with $150 and she now has a primer, a foundation, a powder, highlights, and an oil. And I have all the products. Um, so this primer, I love it. It gives such a beautiful glow. So this glow that you see comes from this bronzing primer. Now it says bronzing primer, but clearly it doesn't bronze my skin. So any shade range could use this bronzing primer, but when I say I love it, I love it. The foundation, like don't get, don't even get me started on the foundation. I swear by that. I'm not using it today though, cause that wasn't the foundation that I used in the previous look, but I kind of want to do another video on the brand because I do have more products from them. So um, I just want to promote them. And I'm not on anybody's PR list. They don't send me anything. I purchase everything myself. But I've like, I have fallen hard for this brand. Hey, Janelle. I have a cart with items from Naomi Kid. I'm thinking about getting, I'm waiting, but I know I'll end up ordering it. I saw that and I was like, can I do that? I, I want it though. Because I don't have any of the products in the kit. Do you think the Finney Setting Powder is worth getting if you already have the Laura Mercier? Mm, probably not. Because they're both matte setting powders. And I've had the Laura one before. And I don't think... Hmm. That's a hard one. I don't think you absolutely need to have the Fenty Lou Setting Powder. Especially if you like the Laura one and it works for you. I, don't, I wouldn't say that you have to have it. Um, same for the most of the things I want are out of stock, but I'm still going to place order. Ooh, I'm going to check them out. I have eczema. Yes, definitely do. They use all products that are natural, that aren't going to mess up your skin or cause it to be inflamed with any type of those um, types of, you know, with any types of those products that would make your skin be upset and angry at you. So check them out. Um, did you ever try DED bronzy? I want to try that. I got a sample of that one time and it didn't really do anything for me. So I never purchased it. Do you ever use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter? Oh. I swear by the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. The only reason why I'm not using it today because it wasn't in the previous look that I used, but it is a May zine like that's a product that i'm like you need to try it for sure yeah i wear the shade um six dark tan oh my god now that i that you tried the fenty bronzer which one do you recommend more so we can do a comparison today because that was something i forgot to do in my initial video so we can compare because when i did this look before i used the costas cream well this is not a bronzer it's more like a cream blush so I'm going to compare <clears throat> Fuego Flush to this one. Okay, what, what else are y'all saying? I'm trying to talk myself out of the Tom Ford Flow Drops that you mentioned, 26 in email. Haven't opened it yet, though, so I can't share my thoughts yet. But $26 from $50, I'm going to have to tell you to go ahead and just Go ahead and get that one. Where can I purchase Range Beauty? I actually linked them in the description box of this video. Um, I linked their their uh, website. So I think it's just rangebeauty.com. And their prices are so affordable. So this bronzer is $18. The foundation is $20, I want to say, or $18. I'm actually using the powder today. Powder is $16. Dual highlights. Um, they're, I, they're, it's a loose powder, so you... You can use it as a highlight or as like an eye topper. That's $10. And is that it? Is that all, is all the products? Oh, oh, and the body oil I think is $16. So very affordable prices too. Um, Venice, do your thing. I'm not much of a Sephora girl to begin with. Your head better piece. Um, I have deep bronzy love. Okay. Hey, Fafa, or is it is it Fafa? Fafa, hi. Do you like the original Fenty foundation? I do. So the original Fenty one, it can be a little too drying. So I'll just add an oil to it and it makes it like so much better. I feel like the hydrating foundation just gets a little too oily on me, a little too fast for what I want. It, it doesn't, to me, it looks oily at the end of the day versus dewy. Um, 
Oh, Toya, I'm glad that you're feeling better. Hydration is probably a good thing to do if you got a headache. Well, everything in my car has gone out of stock. No! Yeah, I did see that. I was thinking about getting the Shantakai. It's the, someone told me to get the Shantakai Future Foundation. And it's 20% it's 25 off at Neiman Marcus. So I'm thinking about getting that. Yes. Brit, I'm going to compare them today. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm moving my camera. Please do a video on your skincare routine at some point. Yes, I am. I'm just waiting for a couple of items to come in the mail because I ran out of some of my skincare products. So as soon as they come in, I'll do a video. Thank you so much. I might check out Rage Beauty since my skin has been ridiculously dry, having to wear these raggedy masks lately. Um, thank you for your service, though. We really do appreciate it. Um, Neiman's got me and I regret nothing. You better not. <laughs> um, yes, definitely check out Range Beauty. I love them. And Pat McGrath is definitely having to sell candy. Hi, Gigi. Thank you so much. What's my skin type? It's pretty normal. I'll produce some oils right around here, but it's pretty normal. I'm ordered, I ordered the Tom Ford foundation stick. Oh, I hope you love it. Yes, love that Shanta Kai foundation. Um, I need a shade reference though, cause that shade range is not cute. Like, not cute at all. Um, yay, I have a cart full of Newman's. Oh my gosh, someone. Kelsey, I'm calling you after this so I can figure out what's in your cart. <laughs> Sans Den, yes, mixed into foundation for a glow. Oh yes, I wanna try Shanta Kai, yep. Do <laughs> Is the Fenty concealer worth picking up? I just got the pack. Absolutely not. That Fenty concealer creased on me. It didn't look cute either. I didn't like the way that it creased. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up because I've just been chatting. Moving on with the foundation, Anastasia Luminous Foundation. So this is what I wore during that video. So I'm just putting stripes. I like applying my foundation directly to my face because I feel like in theory, I'm using less product. In truth, I don't know, but I feel like in theory, I use less product. So I uh, will start off with my Flower Beauty brush. Somebody made the funniest comment to me and I just chuckled to myself like, you are so right. She was like, I'm binge watching your videos and I noticed that no matter what foundation you use, whether it's a $10 foundation or a $150 foundation, you use the same $11 foundation brush. And I was like, Yep, and I actually got it for $5 on sale at Walmart. I love this brush. So I typically will press foundation into my skin to get the maximum amount of coverage. And do you all see that glow? Yes, it's the foundation too, but it's also that Range Beauty bronzing primer. Oh, it's just so juicy. It's just so juicy. And I love it, love it, love it. Cause I've worn this foundation multiple times so i know it's definitely the bronzing primer that's adding the glow and then once i'm done pressing the foundation into my skin then i'll go ahead and kind of rub it in in the areas that i want to make sure are smooth and blended well i'll be dropping foundation everywhere because i'm glossy <laughs> i am too that glow is Yes, ladies, we is glowing. Thank you, Britt. I'll check it out after the live. I'm at work trying to stay away. Mm, I hope we can keep you up. Do you, I have more than one shade of Pat's concealer? Yes, I have M19, which is my skin complexion shade. And then I have M16, which is what I highlight with. Uh, what else? What else? This foundation looks stunning on you from that video. Thank you. You're using Hazel and Shantakai, but it was a little light. Okay, thanks for the reference. Are you, uh, you might be sleeping on a gym, Anita. You might want to check them out. Okay, I'm caught up. Low key, when I saw the comment saying they had 25% off, I was about to. <laughs> but DC, it's okay. I don't blame you. I, I, look, we will be here when you come back. Yay, Britt. I'm so glad you love it. Your skin looks right amount of dewy. I love a matte finish, but this is the kind of glow that I've always wanted. Yes, it's just so pretty. It's not overdone. And if you could like touch my face, my face doesn't feel like overly sticky or emollient. Why do I look orange? Okay, 
because Kelsey and I have had this conversation. <laughs> so she feels like I choose foundation shades that are a little too dark for my skin. And I would agree with her on that because I would rather look a little warm versus casket ready. However, <laughs> I did purchase this foundation in the summer and last summer, I was very much tan because I went to the beach like three or four times. So if I do not look like I'm matching myself, eh, you know, it's my little summer shade. But I'm okay with it. Um. Oh, I didn't say it. I am using shade 410C. The Anastasia shades are definitely not accurate um, because I've never been a cool tone ever. But that shade... I liked better than the other ones. I thought about it, but I was like, no, I can't wait. Okay, how would you describe the undertone of this foundation? I mean, I think it looks pretty warm. I think it looks pretty warm. I would almost say like, almost like a golden warm. Um, Cause that's what it looks like to me, which is why I said for it to be a cool foundation it is not cool at all. It's not pink or neutral like yeah Britt I would say it's like a gold a warm golden um okay so then I went in with the Kosas revealer concealer absolutely love this concealer um I was gonna try out my shade in Tom Ford stick based on you and Kelsey I was a little puzzled oh so why are you puzzled um so I'm the worst at picking foundation for myself, but I'm so good at helping others get their shade. Well, girl, you gotta translate them skills for yourself. Hey, Joanna, thanks for popping in. So I'm going in with the Kosas Concealer. Kosas sent me this concealer, and I have not put it down since they sent it. This is a very like beautiful, dewy like concealer, but it's not overly dewy. Like It doesn't slip around and move around after I set it, and I love how bright it makes my under eye. So I apply my concealer like so. I don't like to overdo my concealer because I just don't like to. Where's my concealer? Oh, here we go. And then I love going in with the Morphe E8 brush and that's what I use to blend out my concealer. I'm going to keep, because the range and shape between the two. Oh, okay. Well, I'm shade 8.7 in Tom Ford. I forgot what Kelsey is. She's like a seven. Yeah, so we, even though Kelsey thinks I should probably go a little lighter. I don't think so. <laughs> I think 8.7 is like a really good shade match for me. What's your everyday foundation? Mm, I don't have an everyday foundation. But what I mean by that is I don't have one foundation that I reach for like if I'm not just doing a, a certain type of look, I always reach for this. But the ones that I love for everyday wear, my Range Beauty True Intentions, Dior Air Flash, Pat McGrath Skin Fetish. Um, I have to look back and take a look. Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder, uh, Tom Ford Foundation Stick. Those would be my top what was that, top five that I would reach for? I keep going too dark with bronzer. Should have gotten Fenty Caramel Cutie instead of Coconut Coco Oh, yeah. I'm actually neutral with yellow undertones, but I love shades that look more gold in my exact shades. And you said, mm, I can see that, and that's how I feel sometimes. I do. Do you have other shades in the Kosas concealer? Yes, I have 7.5. So that shade, if I tan this summer the way that I feel like I might, I would probably be able to use 7.5 as an under eye concealer. But as you can see, I love how like bright and dewy this concealer looks. But of course I'm gonna set it with powder. So I like that it's a little more dewy. So when I go to set it, I don't look like just blank and overly matte as well because I hate a matte looking face that doesn't have life and buoyancy to it. I mean, I know we really don't describe our faces as buoyant, but I like for my face to still look hydrated. I'm actually opposite everything oxidizes on me, so I usually err on the ladder. Oh, okay. 
okay, and I can usually warm them up with powder and bronzer. I need to master the skill of making shades that are a little too light or a little too dark to work for me. I kind of hate concealer and bronzer. Um, okay. Hey, Alexa. We're all doing good. Well, let me not speak for everybody else, but I think we're all doing good. How are you doing? Kotas, ooh. Kotas Concealer or Pat McGrath. I can't answer that yet because I just can't. Because Pat, like that concealer looks flawless. Like it, it's just like a no crease. If I need to go out for like a glam night, I'm choosing Pat. I'll say that. I'm choosing Pat if I want more like glam, full coverage looks. But for like everyday softer makeup wear, I would say Kosas. But <clears throat> this Kosas concealer has coverage. Like from a distance, you guys can't see my freckles. Granted, the foundation has good coverage too. <clears throat> but... This concealer has decent coverage, so uh, I can't I can't make the choice yet. I can't. I will not because I can't. But I will say this. I do. I, I can't say that either. I was about to say I do like that with the pat concealer. I kind of don't have to set it if I don't want it to. Like if I don't need it to last all day long. Um, I don't need to set it. This one, I definitely would have to set it because, like I said, it is more dewy. I don't know. I can't answer that yet. Um, I like how you apply your concealer. I don't like to see it slathered on the... Uh, yeah. No offense intended if that's what others like. Yeah, I never got into the huge, like, block of concealer trend. It just... I guess because it didn't look good on me, so I was just like, I guess I'm the oddball out. Have I tried the Kosas Big Bronzer? It's being sent to me. So Kosas was really nice and they're gonna send it to me. So I'm just waiting for it to get here. I'm hoping it gets here really soon so I can try it out for you all. The deep shade isn't dark enough for me, but it looks so good. I'm very interested to see what the shades look like in person. Okay, you ordered the Kosas concealer, I think in 7.5 or eight. Okay, I hope that works. I hate matte concealers under my eyes. Yeah, my under eye area, um, for some reason, that skin is more dry than the rest of my face. It's kind of weird. So I don't like concealers that really do emphasize dryness or are already like too dry. Does a 7.5 concealer have a different undertone than 7? I think that's my under eye shade. I'll get it for you and do a comparison. I ordered Kosas but not Pat concealer yet. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I don't. I feel like it's good to have concealers with levels of coverage. Agreed. Do you set most of your concealers with the pat under eye now? Actually, no. So Kelsey, I saw her do this and I was like, oh, I like this better. So at one point I was just using the pat conceal the pat powder to set my um my concealer, but I saw her use her favorite setting powder and she's like, you know, I like the pat under eye powder. She was like, but I don't like it alone because it doesn't hold the concealer as much as I want it to. So she goes in with her primary concealer first, I mean primary powder first, and then she'll take the pat powder and bl and use it to blur, and I like that a lot better. So I'm now gonna go in with the Range Beauty Smooth Out, can you even see that? Probably not. The Range Beauty Smooth Out Translucent Powder, and I have mine in the shade Golden Light. So this is what it looks like. And I like that there's a sifter inside so that you can turn it so that you don't waste a lot of powder. So for me, let me pat out my creases first. So for me, I'll take my powder brush. I use the Wayne Goss, I think it's like the Wayne Goss, um, oh, I forgot what brushes it's called. It doesn't have a, um, a number on it. The Wayne Goss, I can't remember what it's called, but this is what it looks like if anyone's interested. So I'll take about that much powder and then I'll go tilt my head down so all my creases are flat and then I'll press the powder under my eye and then I'll look up and that way I'll make sure that I don't have any creases. So I'll take my brush, smooth out my creases, keep my head down so that I can keep my under eye area from creasing again and then Take a light amount and I'll go back and forth so that I can make sure all of my creases have powder in it. Then I'll look up. And usually that's about as much powder as I'm gonna put under my eyes because I don't want it to look cakey or look like overly powdery. And then I'll just go in 
and I always put powder like right around here because this is where I do produce oils and I'll do the same here and I like this brush because I can get really into this crevice right here where sometimes foundation wants to settle and so I'll do it like so and then I'll go in set around my mouth and depending on the foundation that I use, if I have a foundation that I know will settle into my smile line here, then I'll kind of go like this and then just concentrate powder there. Always make sure I blend it out so it doesn't look like I've got like patches of powder. And then I'll take the powder, of course, and run it down my T-zone. Because I did my brows already, I'm not gonna put like too much powder on top of them. Typically I do my brows last, but like I said, I didn't wanna bore you all with doing my brows on camera. So that's what I'll do. And so then after this powder, I will go in, oh, I forgot my pat powder. Hold on y'all. Oh no, I didn't. Just put it somewhere else. Okay, hold on, let me catch up on comments. My under eyes always crease with concealer. If I just use foundation, they're fine. Hmm, interesting. I hate matte concealers too. I'm older and it makes me look really dehydrated. Yeah, I, that's that's how I feel too. Thank you, Natty. This is the Wayne Goss Airbrush brush. Thank you. Yep, y'all are right, Amber. Pete's definitely, I gotta go have to, gotta have to go products depending on what looks you wanna do that day. Thank you, Sands. Yeah, I have fine lines under my eyes and forehead. Also, what powders y'all use? Laura Mercier looks so dry under my eyes. Hourglass is better, but still looks a little dry. So I like, for drier skin type, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. <clears throat> this pat one is good as well, if you have drier skin, because I feel like it doesn't look, it doesn't look like you've got powder under your eyes. Why does that Wayne Gosh brush look similar to this small tapered brush from e.l.f.? Oh, because it probably, do I have that one? Girl, you're going to make me go look and see if I have it. It, If it's what I think it is, it's because it does look similar. But this one is more, if it's what I think it is, this one is less dense than the e.l.f. one. Yes, I know what you're talking about. This one is less dense, so it's a little more fluffy than the e.l.f. one. Because I do have that one. Um, I use the oat powder or the Charlotte Tilbury. What's oat powder? I've never heard of that. The pack concealer is the only one that doesn't crease on me and wears all day. Yeah, that, that whole non-creasing factor is a game changer. Ever use Olaplex? I have not. What should I use from them first? Dang it, have I been missing Laura Mercier for two years? I thought I was just doing it wrong because everyone loves it. I just ordered Hourglass to try. No, I have, I had a larger size of it and I actually took it back because I didn't like it. Well, it was just too matte. So I, like I have a deluxe sample of it, but I never reached for it. Oh, okay, pet. <laughs> okay. Um, powders dry me out under my eyes. I can't use too much powder on my skin either. I must say using the Sonia G Designer Pro Brush has made a huge difference. Mmm. I would agree with that as well. Uh, most powders do this to me, so confusing because I get oily on my skin. Even my eyelids and brows get oily. I think it's just about finding the powder. I think it also is the amount of powder that you're using. Like when I started using smaller brushes like this and literally like tapping off all of the powder that I could tap off and only using what was left on the actual bristles to set my under eye, that's when I started looking more glowy with powder versus like kind of swirling my brush in powder or packing it on like this is one of my favorite powder brushes and so like I'll dip it like literally dip it into powder tap off everything that will come off and then I'll go in and set my face with that so I'm literally just using just enough to set my face but not enough to look cakey dry down and overly matte um Lately, I've been using the Set the Stage Powder from Collab. I think the brand is only sold at Sally Beauty. Either that or Maybelline Fit Me Loose Me, Loose Powder. In my experience, a lot of brushes have similar shape. It's generally the quality of the bristles that makes the difference. Agreed, Amber. I use Hourglass Powder, but like Chelsea is doing, 
I like the Becca Hydra Miss one too, but it's a little flashy, so no pictures with that. Okay, I don't set my face at all. Yeah, Joanna, some days, depending on what I'm wearing, I don't set my face either, especially if I'm using products that aren't gonna be overly dewy. I won't. Um, I'm not Chelsea, but I used Olaplex number three. I have relaxed my hair, by the way, and it's awesome. It made my hair stronger and really helped with the detangling. Oh, this is a hair product. Now, let me tell y'all, I know nothing about hair. That's why y'all see me in this ponytail or you see me with my hair out. I need to be schooled on hair. Is the pat powder from Beauty Bakery, I want to say it is, or the oat powder. When my natural oil seep through, then the powder under my eyes looks so much better. Yeah, I would agree. The Sephora brand pressed powder works great for all over the face and under eye. Are you talking about the micro smooth powder crystal? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, are we talking about oat powder or pad powder? Okay, Chelsea, I'll try that. I was going in with the damp sponge like I saw YouTubers do and, and I was doing that as well. And then I realized, you know what? I don't like it. I just don't like the way it looks. And setting sprays are a... Setting sprays will go such a long ways because when I do use too much, I'll just throw on my setting spray. And I think most of y'all know I love me some Lila B a Glow Face Mist. And it literally just like juicifies the face. And I know that's not a word, but that's the but that is the way that I can describe it. Uh Tatcha discontinued the satin skin mist. I emailed them, they said they can't keep up with this ingredient. Really? You mean like the dew mist that came in the purple container? Oh, wow. Wow. Which one are we talking about? Yes, Crystal. That micro smooth powder from um, Sephora Collection is amazing. So now I'm going to go in with my pat powder. Y'all, look at this. It's just sad. That is all pan. <laughs> but I did drop it, so I didn't go through it that fast. But um, yeah, I've gone through it a lot. Thanks. There's new larger size Olaplex 3. I was highly upset, but maybe when Sephora's open, they might still have some on show. Which one are you talking about, Vanessi? Okay, so then I'll go in with the pat powder. Let me move on. I'm doing too much. I go in with the pat powder, only take like that much, and then I literally just sweep it under my eyes like so to just blur out the under eye. And you can tell a difference, or I'm hoping y'all can see the difference between this under eye area and then this one. So I like to use this blurring powder literally to blur the under eye. But for Beauty Bakery, yeah, I haven't tried the Beauty Bakery um, setting spray. So I like to use this pat powder basically all along my T-zone. Okay, I'm not setting the perimeter of my face just yet because I'm going in with some cream products. So I started off, cause that day I was going for a bronzy look. So I started off using the Kosas cream bronzer and this is in the shade helios so we'll just let's do some swatches comparing this shade to the fenty fuego flush and i so wish i would have remembered this yesterday when i was doing my video so here is the darker shade in the kosas palette <laughs> lost my words and then here is fuego flush right here and then I'll show you swatches on my hands. So there are two different shades. Actually, wait a second. This highlight shade in the Kosas Duo might be, ooh, it's a very similar shade to Fuego Flush. So there is Fuego Flush. There's the highlight shade in the Kosas Duo, and there's the blush shade. So, yeah, you can see it like that. Alrighty, so they're not... Well, I'm glad that they're not dupes. Okay, in terms of texture, because that was a question, Kosas is definitely more creamy. Like, definitely more creamy. Almost, like Kosas is that, yeah. Fenty felt a little bit more, almost like, Fenty felt a little, feels a little bit more dry almost, but dry is not the word because it doesn't feel dry. But Kosas feels creamy, like creamy, creamy. So I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with my Wayne Goss 53 brush and I'm going to just dip into this darker shade here and I'm going to apply it here. 
So this one is, it's a blush, but I feel like this is a shade that I can also use to bronze my face with because of the shade. I think it's just deep enough to where we can add some, a little bit of dimension with it. So that's pretty much what I did here. So I'm just gonna take this along the perimeter of my face. And I don't know yet which one of these I like better formula wise. I gotta play around with it because I almost feel like they're, I can't, they're not the same in terms of formula. Kosas, like I said, is more creamy, but they, they look the same. I think application wise, the Fenty would be easier to apply. I do know with the Kosas cream products, they do say that you can apply them with the fingers, but I feel like they're almost too sticky, almost too sticky to use my fingers. So I prefer to use this brush with it. But yeah, that is, that is so pretty looks like water <laughs> y'all this is what I do when I do my videos and when I'm cutting all the stuff out I just be like come on products come on product. it just looks so pretty okay let me catch up because I haven't been paying attention to the comments not the dewy skin they had a different one called oh I do remember that I never tried that satin skin mist okay the satin skin mist Cake in the blue. Okay, it's the best. Um, my my hourglass order just shipped today, so I hope to have that one soon of the new spray. Beauty Bakery does have their flower powder, and one of the shades is called Oat. Okay, my mom loves Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. It made my skin itch, so I gave it to her. She panned the whole thing. Oh, she must have really loved it. Um, I need Urban Decay to come out with a fragrant tree version of their sprays. I love the Kosas brush. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I use like three different setting sprays layered on top of each other. Those two blushes would have a nice mix. They would. I think Britt said that she either has done it or she's gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in this video. I didn't realize they had fragrance. I know they have alcohol, which is why they're not recommended to wear every day. Okay. I wanted to try it and on and off, but I hear so many mixed reviews about their complexion products. So I'm on the fence about trying it. Jasmine, are, are um, you talking about Urban Decay? Tulsi, I think the Rose Latte Fenty Blush would look pretty on you also. I'm waiting for mine to come. That one is one I'm going to order, Crystal. A lot of these products contain fragrance. It drives me crazy. It is. And it's, it, it's like, it's not necessary. So why do brands keep doing it? But then at the same time, we keep buying them. So we're not helping the cause. I've noticed it in my skincare, and I hate that too. Like, why, right? You're welcome. I hope that you love it. I only have used it once, which is my last wash day because I'm only late to the party. Because I'm only late to party with it. I also bought the Urban Decay Concealer. It's $10 off now on their website. Oh! I've never tried that concealer. It is very pretty. I love it. The blush shade and the Kosas Duo you have is for sure my kind of color. It's gorgeous. What brush is this? This is the Wayne Goss 53 brush. Yes, Joanna, it's really pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Also, why y'all didn't warn me about pigmented cover exit blushes are. <laughs> they are so pigmented. My hourglass order shipped today too. Yay, what did you get, Amber? I was worried it would be too slippery, but it looks beautiful. Multitasking hurt my name. <laughs> ah. To mask the chemical smiles, some of the ingredients have a weird smell. Chelsea, what shade of the cover X blushes do you have? I just have one. Cinnamon, spice cinnamon, that's what it's called. Okay, so now I wanna go in with the Fenty Cream Blush. Get something on my hand. And I will say, okay, an, an immediate difference that I've noticed with the Kosas Concealer, I mean, why do I keep saying concealer? Blush, it, it's just a sheen. This um, particular shade, Fuego Flush from Fenty, has some shimmer in it. It's very slight, but it's some shimmer. I got the Metallic Show Palette and the Ambient. Ooh, those are great products. Oh, this is so, mm, y'all, I cannot make a decision. Cause that looks, oh, that's so pretty. But like I said, I do think 
application wise, I think the Fenty ones apply better with my hand. Come move. <laughs> Thank you, girl. I'm over here just, I'm just shocking myself because I was not ready for this. Um, I do think the blush applies better with my hand, but that Kosas one, I like it better with the brush. Okay, then what I did was, Oh, I don't have the mulberry one, Roberta. That was like the purplish one. Okay, so then I went in with, then I went in with uh, Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow. And so I went in with the bronzer shade and I used just a smidge of that to add a little bit more depth. Fuego Flesh almost reminds me of Nars Taj Mahal. It's just not as pigmented. I've never tried that one. I want to get Warm Honey Spice Cinnamon Pink Dahlia. Those are pretty shades. And Cover XX, Cover FX, I have Suntan Bronze, Sweet Mulberry and Warm Honey. This is why I love Satin Shimmery Blushes. Yes, like they just add the glow. Okay, so I took the Natasha Bronzer and I just added it right here. Just to like add a little bit more dimension to my temple area. Not a lot though, cause like I'm barely dipping my brush in it because this powder is pigmented. And I notice that sometimes I can go ham on the bronzer and it looks like very dark right here and then light here. So I'm just literally like tapping my brush and then sweeping the, um, the bronzer on like so. Am I... Are you gonna keep that Fenty cream bronzer or purchase? So I wanna say that I'm gonna keep it and still purchase a deeper shade because the shade up is Teddy and per the description, Teddy is described as more of a contour shade. So I was thinking, and then Britt told me that the shade Teddy is more in line with the shade Caramel Cutie of the Fenty Beauty bronzer shade. So I was like, if that's the case, I still like the glow from the Honey Glaze shade, but I don't want to send it back and then be like, dang it, I should have kept it so I could have used both so I don't look like too contoured. So I think I'm going to keep it and just order another one. Um, I really want Warm Honey because I feel like it would be my perfect everyday blush shade. Love. Thanks, Britt. Urban Decay has some good concealers. Naked Skin is dope. Still testing an all-nighter. Haven't tried to stay naked yet. Usually I wait until Ulta has their concealer for half off then, yeah. Both are neutral for tan shades. And I love a neutral bronzer. Like, love it. I love that Fenty bronzer. You're very natural. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so then I went in with Caramel Cutie from Fenty and did some more bronzing. And so then I just took this one and just kind of swept it this way just to make me look even more bronzed because you could just never have too much bronzer. <laughs> but once again, not using a lot of bronzer because I don't want to, I don't want to do too much, but I, do, I did want to bronze a little bit. And then I do like to bronze up my nose. Oh, I left my bronzer brush. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's okay. I do like to just bronze up my nose. So I'll just add a little bit down the sides of my nose. Like so. And that's it. Nothing too crazy. Um, but just so it doesn't look blank in the middle of my face. I was wondering how her Fenty Powder Bronzer would look layered over the cream one. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet. I want to. I think Warm Honey may be a little close to Spice Cinnamon, just a little lighter. Oh, it's okay. You're here. You're here. Okay, you just granted my wish. Thank you. That's what I want. A good everyday shade. I have too many curl bronzers. Oh, blushes. You said it was the Wayne Goss 53, right? Yes, I can't find it unless it's been discontinued. Girl, I'm lying. It is the Wayne Goss 12 brush. <laughs> so sorry. The reason why I said 53 was because it cost $53. And that's what I have in my head. So my mistake, Wayne Goss 12 brush. So sorry. So, so sorry. Okay, thank you. I love the look of both blushes, but I have to re 
to rely on online swatches because cover effects is only available in the UK. Okay. Sorry, Amber. <laughs> okay, then for then I went in with highlight. So I took the what brush did I use? I think I went in with this one. This is the Refer P09 brush. Took in went in with the cream bronzer first, and then I added a little bit of that here. Now, what I will say is with both the Kosas um, and Fenty cream products, they don't pick up any product underneath, which is great. Those online swatches of products be off sometimes. That is very true. And so I do like that because sometimes I will forget to use the cream products before I set my face. And so I'm, I'm glad to know that they don't pick up product. So I use this cream highlighter first. And then I went on top with Natasha Denona, went back into this particular shade and I used the, did I use a super glow shade? I think I did. Yeah, I used a super glow shade. So this shade right here, and topped the cream highlight with this one. Do you have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Highlighter? I'd like to see how it looks on your complexion. Um, I have the, well, which one was that? I have the six pan compact or the six pan palette from 2018 that has like a highlight shade in it. Is there a particular shade from them that you were looking for? So I'm going now in with the Natasha powder and adding that on top. And typically you all, this is not what I do on an everyday basis. For this particular look, I was trying to go extremely bronze and dewy. So if this were like a normal everyday look, I probably wouldn't add multiple highlights. Maybe. But not always okay on to let's go on to the eyes so my eye look was pretty simple I went in with the Jackie Aina palette and I think I only used three shades if I can remember because I remember wanting a more like lighter eye look I think you'd like the sweet cheeks blushes from NYX they have quite a few different colors and offer both matte and glow options they have some bolder colors for everyday shades too I just want to know if it looks good on brown skin or if it appears ashy. Mm, I will, that's a hard one because the shade that I have in that palette, it is not the warmest. <clears throat> so I don't reach for it a lot, if I'm being honest, because it is a little light. Like it works if I am using it in the winter months, but like when I'm tan, the, that particular shade is not warm enough. But I do know Hourglass has a different, it has different shades of highlighters. So I can't, I'm not going to say that they all look ashy on deeper skin. I have, I have very oily skin too, especially on my eyelids and my eyebrows. I use Super Tiny Dot of Too Faced Eye Insurance and then Makeup Forever HD Pressed Powder. And girl, it lasts the whole day. Good to know. Thank you. I'll check them out. 53 for a powder brush gels. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say anything. I just, I just saw it and I said, you know, that looks pretty, and and it is, and I do not regret not one penny that I spent on it. Okay, so I'm going in with the shade. Let me take this out before it falls. Going in with the shade Gender from the Jackie Ina palette, and we're gonna start blending that into the crease. I remember I made this eye look pretty, I wanted it to be a little more blown out and pretty simple. Just, I wanted a bronzy eye look, so I didn't do too much. And like I said, I think I just went in with three shades, three, four shades. So the eye look will be pretty quick. This is a Refer 15 brush. Oh, Kelsey girl, thank you. You're so sweet. Y'all gonna make a thug cry. I'm so not a thug. <laughs> I am the biggest sap there is.
I recommend the Buxom Primer Infused Blushes. If you haven't tried it, avoid the color Seychelles, though, if you're tan and deeper. Okay, thanks for that recommendation because everyone raves about Seychelles, and I'm like, I want to try that. And then I went in store, and I was like, that looks light. I mean, granted, the people who rave about it are of lighter complexion than I am. Um, happy on nice. I use NARS Eye Primer and Urban Decay Primer Potion. Using concealer as a base does not work for me. So I will say, if I am going to use a primer, the two primers that I'll go for are the ABH primer. And then I also have this one from Luscious Angels that I'll use. But here's my ABH one. I got a deluxe sample of it and I'm like this is more than enough because you only need a dot of it um, but here's that one this one I really like it when I want my shadows to pop but it is drying on my eyelids like sometimes too dry so I don't use it all the time but is it it is an eye primer that I would consider purchasing in full size when I run out because it really does make my eyeshadows pop um no problem look on their website to see the colors to see which ones you are most interested in i own a bunch and love them all also glitter glue for my shimmers extends yes love me some nyx glitter glue have that right here is the palette truly worth it i did not want it for the longest time because i felt like it lacked cohesion and i don't really like jackie and then something changed last week and i wanted <laughs> to me it is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and i I guess I like it because I do like the shades in the palette. I love the pigmentation and I love the formula. And I like that none of these shades are gonna look ashy on me. Like this white shade looks white in the pan, but it's like a, it has like green shimmer to it. So it, it just has like depth to it. So I love that none of these shades are gonna look ashy or like washed out or you know how you get some palettes and you're like, I mean, I'll use this shade so I can feel like I'm using it, but like it's no point in you using the shade because it doesn't show up. So I really love the palette. I say it's worth it, but at the same time, I understand if you feel like it's not your type of thing, especially, you know, if you don't really vibe with the creator. I freaking love Seychelles, but I have light skin, so I don't know how it works for other people. I agree, my brush collection is all Sigma and Sephora Pro, <laughs> all obtained on so Nothing wrong with that. I don't care about Jackie too, but, at the, <laughs> but the palette is great. It is. I have to head out, but I will catch the replay. Thank you so much, Crystal, for hanging with me. So enjoyed the conversation with you. I hope ABH would come out with different shades. ABH does dry down a little cakey and dry for me too. But 50 days, Jasmine, <laughs> ah, the brush better do my taxes and keep my gas tank full for that price. Girl, but it's, I mean, did y'all see me applying it? I felt so like bougie and it's just like, it just feels good. It feels like a little massage. Not make a thing. <laughs> I know. Ah, the formula in Jackie's palette is better than, I agree. That's how I feel too, Toya. I love Sephora Pro brushes. I have a lot of them. Now, that's a brand of brushes I really don't own. I do want to try them. Though. Wait, do I have a Sephora brush? No, I don't. I don't. Sigma brushes are wonderful. I do have a few of them. Get that Jackie palette. I don't care for her either, but that palette was made for tan, deep skin tones. The quality is superb. I do agree, Janelle. I prefer eye primer over concealer when I wear eyeshadow. My favorite is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof in Clear. It's my holy grail. Um, I found a few Sigma brushes. Wow, at Marshalls? Whoa! I don't ever find good stuff at my Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Sephora so redid their brushes recently. They are great value and last. The eye primer is Bay. I prefer the clear one. You know what? So, how do y'all find those deals? Okay, I'm going in with edges now. How do y'all find those deals at Marshalls and Target? Because I swear when I go in there, I find basically nothing like i don't be finding nothing hardly and i know maybe it's the area that i go into i've tried going into marshall's in like good areas i've tried going into marshall's and tj maxx and not so good areas i just feel like i don't ever really score so what's y'all's tip because sometimes, based on what I've seen, I'm like, people be finding gold mines in there. One person did tell me, though, she did learn when their truck came and then she would be there when the truck delivered. And I was like, 
yeah, that's probably where that's probably where I missed out. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Zam right here, and I'm going in with Sonia G Worker Pro, and I'm just going to pack that on the lid. So normally I would want to use like a glitter glue with this shade. But on days like today where I'm feeling lazy, I will just tilt my head like so and look down on my mirror and then put it on like that. And that way I don't get too much fallout on my face. And then when I feel like I've got a good, enough of the product on my eyes, that's when I'll kind of lower my head. And it works. I mean, I have like a little bit of fallout, but nothing... Nothing too bad, nothing that's gonna bother me enough. And that's that. You were right about Jackie's palette. I've been using it and really enjoy it. Struggled with some of the shimmers, but the mattes are on point. Yay, Jasmine, I'm so glad that you like it. It takes a long time to comb through stuff. Yeah, it really is. And I hate, like, especially when all the products are, like, damaged and broken. I'm just like, do you want to buy something like this? So why are you treating the products so aggressively? Concealers never work for me, too. Marshalls and TJ Maxx is a hit or miss. Agreed. Same that stuff be expired or to expire or swatched. I want to go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx that the YouTuber Leora goes to. I don't want... Oh, wait. Is she the one that always does, like, those major hauls or... I think I know who you're talking about. Because she goes there like three, four times a week, I think. I'm going to try mixing my more matte concealers with primers to cancel out my eyelids. Okay. Thank you. I may get it if lockdown ends. I don't know how I feel about the new ones. I got all of the older ones I could find. I love Leora. She's so cute and she has the most epic finds. If it's who I think it is, y'all, I swear her 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 um stores get things that mine would never get. I agree with you, I never use the tinted one because I love the clear one so much. Okay. I think I know who you guys are talking about. I love this shade, Zam. I think it is the most pretty golden rose gold type of color. And I love, I don't know, it's just so pretty. Like I one time, I used this when I was using, um, getting ready for my birthday and I was rushing. I just took, I think I just took ginger for my crease and then used Zam all over my eyelid. And I was like, my eye looks so put together. And I wish I had used. I felt like it all had to do with this particular shade here. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go in with where are we at? Let's let's go in with this little detailed brush, Refer 13 brush. And I'm going to go back in with the shade called Edges. And I'm going to just smoke out the lower lash line. And I always feel like eyeshadow needs to be applied to the lower lash line. Because number one, I feel like it helps to bring the whole eye look together. But then two, I feel like if my concealer is beginning to crease or I don't know if my under eye just looks a little, just a little special for that day and not in a good way, running my eyeshadow along the lower lash line kind of blurs out that either additional creasing or like whatever it is that's going, under, going on, on underneath my eyes. So I love doing that. Um, to just kind of further blend out the lower lash line and whatever creases I might have there. Now going in with gender, ginger and just further blending out the lower lash line and taking that color all the way into the inner corner. And this is the Sonia G pencil brush that I'm using. And then I'm going to go in with, um, where is my, here we go. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade called Soleil, right here, this like beautiful, pretty light gold color. 
and I'm gonna use that for my inner corner highlight. And that is it, folks. I think that was the eye look that I did. Okay, I do have some fallout. <coughs> but it's okay, it's okay. I don't think you all can see it. Well, I look like a tin man this close to the camera. Let's back it on up. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite eyeliners, the Pat McGrath Permagel Eyeliner in the shade Black Coffee. I love, love, love a good brown eyeliner for my lower lash. <clears throat> I'll use black if my eye look is gonna be more dramatic, but I prefer brown so that it doesn't look too dark, but then we've got some definition. Okay, hopefully this doesn't bother anybody. I know some people don't like to see people apply eyeliner. I saw a tip from a pro makeup artist. They said when you apply your eyeliner, squeeze the eye so that some of that eyeliner can transfer to your upper lash, especially if like the eyeliner that you use is kind of emollient and it can transfer. It'll sometimes eliminate you having to put eyeliner on your tight line. Um, what did I miss? You have to get the palette from ABH while it's still around. The Jackie Ina palette, no, it's no longer at Sephora. It's only at Nordstrom from where I can see it. I want them to bring back the Mario palette. Oof, that Mario palette was, that was my first love in eyeshadow. Also, thanks for the consistent content. You're responsible for my, oh. <laughs> then I get to check out tomorrow. The Artist Couture palette is sold out. No, I did get a chance to get it. It's sitting right here. I'm gonna do a video this week on it. Same, I wish I got that one. Yes, that's the, yeah, okay, so that is her. I'm about to hit up even Brooklyn Storage once this lockdown's over. You should check out Sephora Collection Brushes. They are super soft, last a long time. Andrea Renee talks about their number 50 brush all the time. I will, I will, because when I, even when I go in, in um, the um, store, I'll like feel them and look at them and they look really high quality. I've just never like pulled the trigger on them. Check the Artist Couture website. They just had a sale going on, 20% off. Ooh, good tip. You gotta go to TJ Maxx during the early part of the week, like Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Don't ever go on the weekends because everything is always picked over and it's crowded. Okay, thanks for the tip. Please remember, okay, let me do that now because um, the way my short-term memory is set up, I will forget. Hold on. Okay. I'm glad I have on some appropriate pants today. <laughs> that would have been, I'd have been like, sorry, hon, I can't get up because you can't see what's down here. All right, so here we have 7.5. And then we got seven. So I feel like seven is definitely more neutral. And I'm gonna turn down my light so you can see the shades a little better. Okay, so here is seven and then that's 7.5. So I think seven is more neutral. 7.5 has more of like a golden, a warm type of look, if you will. Um, so I hope this helps. I can't wear 7.5 alone as the under eye concealer, um, but I have mixed them both together at one point. And then I realized I can wear seven on its own. So I just now just wear seven. But like I said, if I do get more tanned, like I think I will, I'll probably might be able to use 7.5. Bye, Britt. Thanks so much for stopping in. Thank you so much for your generosity. I really do appreciate it too. Um, oops, sorry, sold out on his site too, but sign up for notifications for restocks. Okay. Yeah, that palette, I was so glad I was able to get it. People been looking at the reviews on here. The palette is a sleeper hit, it seems. I live in the UK and it's still available down here. Ooh, glad it helped, Janelle. It is really nice. 
Bye, Joanna. Thanks so much for popping in. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so I just did eyeliner. Like I said, hello, been a while. Where have you been? I missed you. Hi, Alicia. Thanks for popping in. What I miss, which palette? <laughs> I use the Jackie Ina palette. That's what's on my eyes. Very simple look. I think I use like four shades, not doing too much. Um, Leisha, I, where have I been? This is only my second live on YouTube. I do more lives, or I used to do more lives on Instagram. I've just been tired, y'all, because usually, okay, so I'm going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer, so if I'm not going to throw on lashes, I must <clears throat> apply, apply a lash primer because it really does amp up the mascara and it really does make my eyes my lashes pop to where i feel like i don't need to plot to apply false lashes for like a more like chilled look in that video i used the essence lash princess mascara this green one here because i didn't have my fenty beauty mascara but i have it now so that's what i'm gonna use but i do like that lash princess mascara though Kids are taking a short nap here until they wake up. What days do you upload? I have been uploading every day. Um, I, I don't know what my upload schedule is right now. The reason why I say that is because, for instance, a week, no. Okay, last Thursday. As of last Thursday, I had uploaded seven days in a row. Then I uploaded again. I did a live on Saturday. I uploaded yesterday. I uploaded today. I'm going to upload tomorrow. I need to get a schedule, but my goal is to upload five times a week with maybe a bonus six. But um, I don't have set days yet, but my upload time is 9 a.m. So if I'm going to upload, it is going to be at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope that helps. I need to get an upload schedule. <laughs> I just don't know what days. And I feel like right now, with like the Sephora sale going on, and then with sometimes you all have asked for certain videos, I don't want to sleep on the content. So like yesterday, I wasn't planning on uploading, but when my Sephora order came in with the Fenty Cream products, I was like, this video is going up today. Not only am I excited to try it, but I know people are interested in what they look like. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. But I'll get a schedule eventually, especially when I have to go back into work. I'll definitely have more of a like, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday type of upload schedule or whatever I figure out. I love this Fenty mascara. It is so, oh, it just gives me all the drama I want my lashes to look like. And I like too that it doesn't look clumpy when I apply it either. Oh, Joanna, thank you so much. I know she's not on here. I just saw that. She's so sweet. I have to go. Bye, Sans. Thanks so much for popping in. I hope that you stay safe as well. Okay. So with the Fenty Mascara, I usually will apply just a couple of coats. But that's all I feel like I need, especially with the eye primer. I mean, the lash primer. I keep saying eye primer. It's lash primer. I want to try the ABH mascara. I am debating on if I want to get that one too because I heard it's really good from people that I know that have tried it. But like, I kind of don't want to try it. But I kind of do want to try it. Chelsea, link your Sephora and other retailers in the description box. So yes, all of those are already linked. Girl, I can't prepare it this time. <laughs> so everything that I'm putting on my face, I will link down below. And um, yeah, I've already I've already uploaded it, so we should not have any complications there. We should be good. 
I love the Hourglass Mascara. Can't get away from trying it to try something new. Ooh, haven't been seeing your notifications. We'll be on the lookout for your videos. Thank you, Leisha. Check to see if you are even still getting notifications from me because I know sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe people or if you had notifications on for a channel, it's not gonna notify you. Someone told me that if you go in, it was Tara Lynn, she said that her one of her followers told her that she um, turned off the bell and then turned it back on and then she started being notified when she would upload videos. So maybe do that because I will say for the past couple of weeks, I have been uploading pretty consistently, almost every day. And I cannot talk and do mascara. Anybody else try to do their mascara without getting mascara on their face? I'm never successful. Just letting you guys know Range Beauty has foundation samples for two bucks. Yes! Yay, Debbie! I hope you love it. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Yes, I forgot to say that. Range Beauty is just sold on their website. They are an indie brand. So I forgot to say that. Yes, you can get samples of their foundation and then you can try it that way before um, purchasing it. I am the shade Rio in the foundation. Y'all, it is so, so, so good. All right, where are we at now? What do we have left to do? Oh, lips. And I think that's it. Okay, so let me do this. I'm gonna go back in with the Range Beauty um, powder. And like I said before, I'm just gonna take just a little bit, dip my brush in, flail it off, flail off the excess, and literally just graze my face with the powder. And so as you can see, we can still see glow from the cream products, but everything is set. And then I will go in with my Lila B A Glow Face Mist. Oh, this smells so, so good. I'll go back in with my foundation brush and I will press the product into my skin. Oh, this spray is just so beautiful. It is so, 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 so beautiful. And my base is done. So now for lips, I use Pat McGrath's Lux Lipstick in La Beja. Anybody else think that that name sounded a little, just a little, a little ratch? I was like, or maybe I'm not saying it right. Maybe it's not La Beja. But every time I say I want to go La Beja, and that's not right. Because I don't think that's how Pat would want me to say <laughs> the lipstick name. But that's how I always pronounce it before I say it a little more polished on camera. And then I topped it with a product that I can't seem to find anywhere. Like it might be in CVS stores, but I can't find it online anywhere. So I'm sorry, cause I didn't realize that before I used it. But this is the liquid lipstick from Burt's Bees in the shade Peony Puddle. And it's so, so pretty. It reminds me of the Fenty Madame, Madame, Madame Wazelle lipsticks. Like they are matte, but they're not overly matte. And my look is done. I'm gonna throw on some new earrings that I got from Amazon. It's these seashell earrings, aren't they cute? I was like, these are giving me all types of life. So yes, my look is done, guys. Anybody have any questions? I feel like it was pretty straightforward. I should film another video. Do not let this good face go to waste. Let me catch up on the comments. 
yes, Alicia, you should try Range Beauty. I swear by the brand. I am gonna do an, update, an updated video on them because I think it's a brand that people need to be um, told more about. I have Labasia too. Wish I would, I wish I could have, I wish, wish I could have my home this quiet to film during the day. Girl, it's only because my kids are downstairs and my husband's keeping them down there. Because if not, you would have been, it would have been so loud. <laughs> Labasia is named after a drag queen, I think. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> ah, Toya, I know. But I think it is a lovely name. I love it. I love it. I just feel like I don't do it justice when I say it. Because I want to go Labasia. And I don't feel like that's how Pat wants us to say it. I feel like she wants to say Labasia. That, that sounds better. I like both ways. My PayPal information is actually in the description box below as well as my cash app. Not saying anyone needs to send me anything, but I know last live a couple of people asked me, so I did put it down there. If you do decide to support my channel, I am so, so appreciative. Do not feel obliged to. That is not why we're here. We're here to connect, play in makeup, talk about makeup. But I did do that just because some people did ask me last time. Um... Thank you, Crystal. I think LaVeja is Portuguese for the kiss. Ooh, okay, educate me, cause I don't know. I agree, it sounds great either way. I like it, I do. <laughs> so yeah. All right, guys, I think we're gonna head out. What do y'all wanna talk about next live? So I think I'm gonna go live again for sure on Saturday. Oh, okay, thank you, Karen. Thank you that, thank you. Yes, they are, they're so cute. They were like $10 on Amazon. And they're lightweight, like, I know y'all can't, I don't think, I don't think y'all can see it, but I'll, I'll show you all this. So, y'all see my earlobe? My hole is slit a little bit, and I don't remember when I did that, so I have to be very careful when I'm wearing, especially like hoops or heavy earrings, because it will pull on that earlobe, and you can see that the earring is not pulling on it. So that hopefully can let y'all see how light they are. Gotta go, this Teddy versus Babyface battle should be starting soon. Oh, I heard about that. I did not tune in. Bye, Janelle. Thanks so much for popping in. I am wearing, yes, I am wearing Fuego Flush right here. And this is a cream brush, blush, brush, blush from Kosas. So that shade is what I'm wearing more so up here, but Fuego Flush is right here on the apples of my cheeks. <laughs> yes, put your earrings on. I feel like earrings definitely makes me feel more feminine and not as raggedy. Um, okay, so thanks, Saturday Live, what time? It's going to be 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I felt like last week that was a good time for the majority of people. Let me know if you feel like that's not a good time. I didn't wanna to do too early but I also didn't want to do too late either. What kind of mirror is that you're holding? Oh, I got this from, oh, sorry, TJ Maxx or Marshall. So one side is more magnified and then this side is just regular. Y'all can see all my, all my stuff. <laughs> but I love it, I need to clean it. Oh, it's 1.30 in the, oh, well, hey, that's right, okay, so. If I do 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that would be 9 p.m. for UK time. Have you tried anything from, yes I do. I have the Minted Foundation Stick, love it. I have all four Minted Blushes, love them. And I have three lipsticks from Minted and I really enjoy them. I really like Minted. I wanna try their, I think they have a powder, I think. They have a powder. Do I have anything else from Minted? I feel like I do. Um, I wanted to try their powder and I also want to try their eyeshadow palettes. I haven't tried that. Have you tried them? Oh, hey, Nick, Nick. I didn't realize that was you. I just saw your question, but I didn't see your name. I love their blushes too. They are, I love how pigmented they are, but I also love that they're not like, you know, too pigmented and not, and they aren't patchy either. It's really nice. Do y'all wanna see some stuff I got today? Um, 
I had sent some stuff, so I will be reviewing them shortly. So on Octoly, they had the new Becca liquid highlighters. I'm so excited. So I'm going to, um, I got the shade Creativity. I haven't tried it yet. Let's do a try on. So I'm gonna do a video comparing this to the new Tom Ford one, also to Range, Range Beauty Oil. I have some new liquid illuminators, so I'm gonna do some comparisons. Um, but, ooh, ooh, oh, it smells good. Mmm, it smells um almost like a coconut, but it's warm. It smells like the beach. This is pretty though. I definitely put on too much. Can't wait to show y'all this one. And then Refer, they sent me some brushes. Um, so I got the Refer 15 brush. I was using that brush earlier today. Then they sent the Refer 13 brush. I was also using that. The Refer 05 one, why do I keep saying Refer? The 04 one, which I was actually gonna purchase this one next. So I was really happy to receive this one. And then the 19 brush. And then lastly, what else did I get today? Oh, I bought another, um, I purchased another one of the Range Beauty highlights. So I'll do swatches of their highlights because they're just so, 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 so pretty. So like I said, you can use these on the eyes or you can use them as highlights. So this is the shade No Shade. And, oh. Can y'all see that? That's the shade No Shade. And then the one that I've, I already owned that I've had for like a couple weeks now is called Frosé. And this one's more like a, like a rose gold peachy color, if that makes sense. And I know my, I know my swatches are not the best right now because I'm just kind of throwing it on. Let me give y'all a little more product. That, that's just not doing it any type of justice. But the powders are so smooth. Oh. That shade right there is just scrumptious. Let me get a better swatch of no shade. This one reminds me of that Fenty highlight that um, I forgot what it was called, but that's no shade and this is Rose. Gorgeous. They have, I wanna say they have like six shades in total. And so um, I will be getting more. I haven't tried the Shiseido ones. I can't help noticing how glowy you look. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It does, girl. And for $10 too, can't beat it. Can't beat it with a stick. They are gorgeous. So yeah, because I have some of these newer products, I'm gonna do an updated video on the brand showing you um, how they work, how I like to use them. I recommend everything because I've tried everything and it's just really good quality. So, yes, I have to head out, but this is fun. Your glowy look is gorgeous. Thanks for the tips. No problem. I'm going to head out to you guys. Thank you all so, so, so very much for popping in and stopping by and spending some time with me today. It really means a lot to me and I appreciate it. And yeah, I will see y'all again on Saturday or I might see you this week in Kelsey's Lives because I'll be in there too. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Oh, Alicia, I'm sorry, but I will be back on. I'll be back on. See if it works if you turn the bell off and turn it back on so you can be notified when I upload and when I do lives. I do post an announcement <clears throat> in the YouTube, in the YouTube um, board area of when I'm gonna do a live and I also post it on my Instagram as well. So um, I try to post it at least a few hours before, if not a day before. So yeah, bye. Thanks so much for popping in, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe and sound and all that good stuff.
Bye. I sure will, Toya.